Now, the Niger Union of Pensioners Southwest Zone has rejected the 70,000 Naira new minimum wage for workers, saying it is no longer realistic judging by the current price of petrol. Addressing journalists, the public relations officer of the zone, Dr. Olusia Guabato, noted that the current inflation had made a mess of the 70,000 Naira minimum wage, hence the need for its review to 250,000 Naira. Speaking further, Abaton said the federal government was not sincere as it tricked the labor leaders to accept in the 70,000 Naira. When you are dining with the devil, your spoon must be very long. And when you are dining with politicians, your spoon must be longer than that of the spoon that you want to dine, to use, to dine with the devil. So, the federal government took advantage of the naivety and inexperience of Comrade Ajairu and Josifu by tricking them into accepting 70,000 Naira and that he will not increase fuel price. But no sooner they agreed to quote what he said about 70,000 Naira the federal government went ahead to increase fuel. So to that extent, the Southwest is rejecting the 70,000 Naira minimum wage that labor has uh, negotiated and advised that labor should go back to the negotiating table and insist on the 250,000 Naira they initially wanted. Because before you know it, the 2,000 Naira that the federal government said it was going to increase the fuel price will eventually emerge. So labor should go back. And in actual fact, how much is uh, the value of that 70,000 Naira? It's just about 60 liters of fuel. 70,000 Naira is about 60, 60 uh, liters of fuel. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.